Alright, so I installed these LED strips off eBay for 12 bucks on my car. And I had a problem where if you just teed into the back of the headlight, um, you could get the daylight running lights on, but the indicator wouldn't work because it was, wasn't a 12 volt feed because my indicator is only 5 volts. So after many struggles, I tried delay timer relays, you know, eBay little micro relays, but all these were so much wiring, so much extra work that I didn't want to have it. So I thought up an idea that you can't use standard relays. So you see a relay here, if you can see that, oh, focus. See, it's got two 87 outputs. So you've got two outputs, but it's not the relay you want. You need a normally closed and a normally open relay. So here, see this one here? It's normally closed. See how it's switched to 87A? So 87A is constantly closed, and then it'll switch over to 87 when um, the power is distributed. So what I've done is I've put them in there, and what I've done... I'll just show you this. This is the little wiring diagram I drew up. So it's pretty simple, but the way it works is it'll when your indicator comes on, it's going to drop the power to the daylight running lights and then let, let it indicate. So it's before, instead of keeping the power there and having to fight the existing 12 volt, it will um, drop 12 volt out, let it indicate, and then let the power come back on. But it's going to let you constantly indicate if you come into this problem. Uh, yeah, it's an easy fix. It came to me in a dream, if you wouldn't believe it, but yeah, scribbled it all down on paper. I'll just show you, I just finished wiring it up. We throw it on. I probably can't see it in the workshop too much, let's drop that down. But yeah, so, it's been raining. So that's up sweet. They always worked on the park light switch. And if I threw in the old indicator, now it works. As you can see, inside this one, so it's showing you when it's disengaging the power, engaging the power, and which is keeping my indicator working, which is really nice. Let's see. All right, why does it only work on that one? I just wondered what happened there, well, that didn't, didn't work. Um, bad crimp on my part because I'm doing this very dodgily but yeah it was a bad it's a bad connection that's all so now the connection I'm just gonna um, twist it all together I'm just gonna solder it up real fucking quick because um yeah just solved that issue okay so we just want to see that so that's them on here that's the right one going fix the left as well so if anyone's wondering how to get them working that's how you do it so really simple guys this is just a simple fuse block of ebay i think it was five or ten dollars it came with relays it came with all the pins um, if you wanted to you could have a pin uh you could really you could fuse it if you're going to have constant power like for spotlights or any additional lights you want to run Really good, and in the Fiat Punto, it just fits perfectly above the ECU. Um, Running my wires down here, across from this headlight, and I source one of these so it is inline fuse. It is inline fused, which is a good thing as well. But yeah, so there's the ground wire there. Feeds all over to here, and now uh, yeah, but that was simple enough. I just you had to think on it for a little bit. And there you go, if you, have that, if you ever have that problem where you're doing that, that's only a cheap fix, but that is also a cheap fix, which is good, so you don't have to waste all your time on, on these or the Nava bloody relays. I mean, these ones are only 10 bucks a pop, but they're um, not constantly closed on that contact there. They're both loadouts, so yeah, not the relay you wanted. Want something like this. I mean, you can get, this is just the um, non-branded ones that came in it, but yeah, constantly closed so the power just passes through here to here without the call even being energized and then when the call is energized it goes from here over to here but of course we've got nothing going out there so with nothing being pushed out there that loses its power from either your 12 volt feed if you want your auxiliary if you want the daylight running lights all the time or your park light feed like i've done and then you obviously have your um ground and your trigger doesn't matter which one's which on a relay as long as they're grounding and triggering it works um 
yeah, so indicator, trigger, park light, feed, and then your daylight running light there, and then a ground, obviously. And uh, when that triggers, it pulls the coil, switches that off, loses power out to your daylight running lights, indicator then can indicate, and then it brings the power back on, and then when you stop indicating, it res restores back to its um form. So, yeah, it's taken me about, oh, four weeks of just, like, weekends of getting it wrong and getting it right, but uh, I think we nailed it.